this is a series of videos that we're going to be making on the way that we do uh, fume hoods, the different types of fume hood at A&M. And each video is going to have a different type of fume hood that we test because with each video we take fume hoods differently. Uh, the one that we're going to start with is called a, a constant airflow hood, which is the airflow is constantly working at all times the same. It, 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 some of them don't have shut off, some of them do have shut off. This particular one does have a cut on switch, but once I cut it on, no matter how the sash, what position the sash is, it's, it's going to be constant flow. So uh, when I first start testing fume hoods, what I do is examine the fume hood and notice uh, the equipment inside, see if anything obstruction or blocking the airflow in the fume hood system. Uh, the thing when I get ready to start is I want to measure the fume hood uh, up to 18 inches. I want to bring it up to 18 inches. Now it's at 18 inches. I want to cut on the fume hood. Now the instrument that I'm using is called a TSI instrument and it measures the airflow on the uh, fume hood. It's, it's got an anemometer. I want to begin by starting with measuring, uh, I have a six foot fume hood, I want to measure like uh, nine inches from this part of the fume hood and nine inches from the bottom part of the fume hood. I want to go nine inches, I want to measure a zone, I want to go another nine inches, I want to measure a zone, another nine inches, I want to measure a zone. And then another nine inches I want to measure this on. So with a six foot fume hood, I'm going to do eight zones. I want to start with my probe where I want to get away from my body. I want to block it or anything and measure the, uh, the air velocity. I want to make sure that my ball part of my anemometer it's facing inward towards the opening this way. So the first zone, I'm going to take my reading nine inches from this area and nine inches from the bottom part of the area. So I'm going to take my zone, I'm going to take my reading sample here. So I'll wait to my uh, Anemometer is uh, steady, steady, and I take my reading. I take my sample. I want to make sure that the anemometer is set on 10 uh, seconds where it takes uh, a, a sample every, uh, where it takes a reading like every uh, one second and within 10 seconds it, it averages uh, the amount and, 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 and take for my sample. I'm going to go another nine inches and I want to wait to it steady out where my number is steady and consistent and I want to take a reading. after 10 seconds it takes a sample and I want to go like another 9 inches and I want to wait till my anemometer steadies out and I want to take my reading
I also want to do another nine inches. Wait till my animal just steadies out on a certain number. And I want to take another reading. another nine inches because what's what it's gonna be like it's gonna be a, a zone here a zone here a zone here and a zone here so now I want to top, take my top zones which I put it nine inches from here nine inches from here and I want to take a reading take a sample That's my fifth sample. I'm going to go nine more inches and I want to get nine inches from here, nine inches from here, and take another reading once my anemometer is steady out. I want to go another nine inches and then nine inches from here from the top of the slash nine inches from my last reading and I want to take my sample okay we'll flip around this side and I want to take my last and final sample which is nine inches from the top of the sash and nine inches from the bottom and nine inches from the side of the, of the sash. I wait till my sample, uh, wait till my reading steady out on my anemometer and I want to take a reading uh, sample. After my samples, I want to uh, take the status, which is the average of the samples, all together, and I, I can tell if my fume hook passes and fails. Uh, the average uh, acceptable levels of, of airflow are between 80 and 120 feet per minute. This one here uh, fails at 59, so the airflow is too too low. The, the way I can tell if it's, a, if it's a constant flow system or not and everything is that uh, it will not have a uh, semen control located on the right hand side of the fume hood. This one does but it, it's not a uh, actual semen control. This box won't be here on a constant airflow system. It will not be here. Uh, so I want to tag this one out and make sure that they do the necessary repairs and everything before I can retest it and, and pass the few moves. Uh, the different instruments that we use in a uh, in testing a uh, few hoods here at Texas a &M, we use the the uh, TSI 955 5-X we also use the TSI uh, 955 5-P we use uh, ventilation smoke tubes to do uh, containment in which I'll do containment on this fume hood in a few minutes
we use new notepad to write down the different uh, uh, what the fume hood does and the feats per minute to see if it passes or fails. We also make comments on uh, if it's a walk-in fume hood or different types of fume hood, uh, if the uh, semen control is bad or not bad, whatever kind of things that we got different with the fume hood, we write them down. We use uh, out of service time with film hoods that fail, also tape. We use a uh, certified inspection uh, on the film hood to certify that the film hood passes inspection. We do this on an annually basis. Back to the film hood, we also do container tests, bring it up to 18 inches, and we do a containment test to make sure that it's containing the smoke. As you see, this, this one is not it where it's containing some, but it's not containing the way it's supposed to, because I've got smoke coming out this way. It's not really pulling out the smoke in fast enough. So this particular hood, see, you got smoke coming up. The show is not contained very well. <laughs> As you can see, it's not containing, I can smell the smoke. So it's definitely not pulling the smoke in like it's supposed to. Well, there you go. That's, this is how we contain, this is how we do constant airflow fume hood system there at Texas Now, Thank you.